right, Elvis. So, you know, we talk sneakers all the time. And yeah. last time I saw you had a Jordan 11 on, the Bread 11. You yep. said that's your favorite Jordan. Mm -hmm. That's correct. But today you're going to show off one of your cleats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I design, I design my shoes every year. Uh, this year, the Ratch is, uh, you know, I always kind of like the kind of like a snake type of texture on the shoe. I've been doing it for the last five, six years in all my SMUs, all my shoes. Uh, especially in this one, it's, you know, it's such a light and amazing shoe. You know, we have the Rangers color, blue and red. Uh, one of the things that I like, the support for the ankles this year is an upgrade in every Nike shoe. Feels amazing, bro. And like the soles, it's just, you know, it's to melt. You know, you can go different tones. Uh, I use plastic and metal, and I mean, they just feel amazing, man. It's like heaven for your feet. All right, all right. So, one other question real quick. You have a teammate, and someone that you play with now getting their jersey retired. Michael Young, can you talk about what he meant to you as a young player when you were coming in and just things of that nature? No, oh, he means a lot, man. Mikey, uh, calling my dad uh, <laughs> back then for sure. Uh, I mean, I always say this, and I will always say it. You know, he's he's the reason I feel so comfortable playing in the big league. My first few years, uh, he was that guy. I mean, he was a leader. He was our team captain. Uh, he was a guy that that, that you always want to look it up to. Uh, the way he played the game, uh, you know, through injuries, uh, the way he handled himself, you know, out there in the field, here in the clubhouse, how professional he is, uh, but especially, you know, how humble he was as a player and as a, and as a person, man. Uh, everything that he accomplished uh, in this game, uh, and he was always the same person, man. That's for me, is you know, I always blow my mind, and, you know, he's my friend now. Uh, you know, we always stay in contact. Whenever I need advice about my hitting, he's one of the first guys that I, you know, trying to call. Uh, whenever he's in the clubhouse, I always talk to him about hitting. Uh, he's just a, you know, a loving person, a, a great person to, to be around. And, you know, that's, you know, I'm really happy for the retirement of his number. And, you know, and a big congratulations for him and his family.